Ampere's law is, and get excited, is the magnetic field parallel to Gauss's law. I know, I can feel the excitement in the room. Okay, so the equation looks like this. We're going to go through and derive Ampere's law, and then uh, at the beginning of class next time, probably we'll have time to prove Ampere, to use Ampere's law. Okay, here we go. So it is the closed loop integral b dot ds is equal to, now, we need to go through and prove this law. So what we're going to do is we're looking at a current carrying wire. That current carrying wire is carrying current out of the board. We already know that it creates a magnetic field which is in loops around this wire. We are going to, now for Gauss's law we had to draw, come on people, Gaussian surface. Now, this is a closed loop integral. So for Ampere's law, we are going to draw Amperian loops. I'll get out the red marker. So we have an Amperian loop, which is a ooh, brown and red. Mm. We have, I can't even tell the difference between the two. I'm partially colorblind, but I, I can't tell the difference. I can like barely see the difference. Here we go. Um, can you see the difference? Yes. That's all that matters. Nick? <laughs> it's okay, Nick. I, I, I feel some of your pain. Okay, here we go. Um, so, we know that the magnetic field and the ds are going to be in the same direction. Because we've already determined the magnetic field is in a loop around the wire, and ds, which is going to be in the direction of the loop, is going to be in that same direction. So, the dot product class is sine or cosine? Cosine. B, D, S, cosine of theta. In this particular case, that's going to be B, D, S times a cosine, as we just figured out, of zero degrees. So, cosine of zero degrees is just uh, one. So this is the closed loop integral of B, D, S. Does the magnetic field depend on where it's located on the Ampere loop class? No. No, so we can take B out of the integral. So B times a closed loop integral of dS. Well, the closed loop integral of dS is just going to be the length of the um, magnetic field, or the, sorry, the Ampere loop here, which is going to be equal to 2 pi times the radius, right? Because it's the circumference. Correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. And the magnetic field, we can we can substitute in, we already have an equation, we've proved using Bayard Savart's law that it is equal to mu naught times i divided by 2 pi. Now, in this particular case, a and r are the same thing, so I'll substitute with r. And you can definitely see how I definitely avoided writing the letters b and s on the board next to one another. <laughs> oh, come on! Pardon the interruption. The owner of a silver standard parked in the bus lot, you need to move your vehicle immediately. The owner of a silver standard parked in the bus lot, move your vehicle immediately. Thank you. In other words, Ampere's law states that the closed, uh, closed loop integral of B dot DS is equal to mu naught times I, where I is the current inside the Amperian loop. Now, we did this for a circle, but this is true for any shape. Any shape Amperian loop. Please make sure you always draw your Amperian loop. I have Wait, I have three minutes. I can do this. We get time. So, we have an example. Oh, I, don't, don't push me. Now I have, yeah, I still have three minutes. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, we had two. Okay, I got okay. Here we go. We have a current carrying wire. It is carrying the wire has a radius of big R, and we're figuring out the uh, the magnetic field at a location R from it. We are going to start out with R is greater than big R. And we're going to use the Ampere's law, B closed surface or loop integral of B dot ds is equal to mu naught times the current inside. Now, we know that we need to draw our Ampere in loop. Our Ampere in loop is going to look like this. And we're going to have uh, B and ds are going to be in the same direction. So on the left hand side, we have the closed loop integral of B ds times the sine of theta, mu naught times the current on the inside. So we have the closed surf, or loop integral of B times ds times the sine, cosine, sorry, cosine of zero, which is equal to mu naught times the current on the inside. Now we know cosine of zero is just one, and we could take B outside the integral, so we have ds is equal to mu naught times the current on the inside. So B times two pi R, which is the circumference of the Ampere loop, which is equal to mu naught times the current on the inside. In other words, the magnetic field is equal to mu naught times the current on the inside divided by 2 pi r. The current on the inside is just the current on the wire. Notice what we have just derived is the current, so the magnetic field at a distance r from an infinitely long current carrying wire. Notice before we used Biot Savart's law to do this. Would you agree that last time it took more than a minute and a half to do so? Yes, it took the entire board. That's the one that I told you you did not have to do. You can do it this way to derive the magnetic field at a distance r from a current carrying wire. If you would prefer to do it the other way, you're more than welcome to, but I would suggest not. Ladies and gentlemen, people, have a beautiful weekend. Thumbs up.